I, I have always liked shapeshift. What is that? I don't know, Shaft! Shut it up! What has there been said about Scotland that hasn't been said already? Where's the lamb sauce? Come on! The home of Gordon Ramsay. The audacity. This is Lance. Where's the lamb sauce? Right here, Chef. I Lance sauce it. is coming up. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the 84 Shapeshifter Gary Mackey Stevens episodia. Probably one of the most random cards that we've gotten, maybe not just in FIFA 20, but maybe in foot history. A delicious 417 total in-game stat upgrade over his whatever the hell his silver rated card is. I have no idea what it is. Plays for New York City FC, uh, MLS, and uh, uh, EA had tweeted out and said that this is an honor, technically, of the MLS starting up. So, of course, you know, we had to hit him with the uh, Inner Miami kit, had to hit him with the Inner Miami hat, which I've worn in every video. Uh, people are starting to think that I don't have hair anymore. I do. Scotland is home of James Forrest. And Scotland is home of the greatest warrior of all time, William. Shoots lightning bolts out of his arse, Wallace. But like I said, boys, we are here for Gary Mackey Stevens' card. Like I said, a 417 total in-game stat upgrade. Uh, now, it seems the community's a little bit split here. We've got those, obviously, the meta, obviously, we're in, uh, we're in March now, so the meta is well and truly established, you know, uh, 87s, anything less than, like, an 80s, you know, right backs and left backs, you can get away with 86s and stuff like that, but, uh, most of the community, I think, is wanting at least, like, 86, 87 plus rated cards, but one thing I will say, though, and I, I, I defend, uh, I defend the guys who run the non-meta squads as, you know, we, we prefer not to run the non-meta, try to look for some fun cards and do some fun stuff and really learn about a couple players, that's part of why I like these, uh, these off-league players. I love getting SPCs where it's at least like not top five league uh, um, uh, players and stuff like that. So, so I, I enjoy these little off cards. I mean, it's cheap as hell. It's a 184 rate. It's an 84 rated squad. I think it was like 70 chemistry or whatnot was was cheap as heck to do. Um, and it's freaking Gary Mackey Stevens. He has the legendary card in I think it was FIFA 16 or maybe even 15. I can't remember, but uh, he's had some pretty incredible informs as well as uh, special silver cards. Was one of those OP cards, um, and this gives us a chance to take a look at an 84 shapeshifter card. Was a right mid, uh, and put together a little bit of an MLS side, and use one guy that I've been wanting to use for quite some uh, quite some time, and he's Romanian. Um, but uh, like I always say, boys, if you guys do enjoy these epis, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So let's get right into it. Five eight high low left footed five star weak foot three star skill moves. Uh, we go into the stats, and right off the bat, it's very much in the mold of a James Forrest and Ryan Kent. 98 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. The attacking positioning looks very, very good. The finishing, as a matter of fact, for an 84 looks very, very good. Shot power, very good, as well as long shots. Uh, volleys, penalties, obviously, could be better. Passing stats are acceptable, again, for a striker. Uh, striker card, 82 short passing is one of the only things I look for. And then the 86 curve is definitely one, uh, definitely something that gives him uh, a plus because, again, it adds a little bit of curve to his passes. 99 dribbling, obviously, is incredible. 99 uh, balance is obviously incredible with the sniper cam style. Reactions is something we're going to keep an eye out for, and ball control is something we're going to keep an eye out for, because 83 is not great. Gets jacked off to 88 with the uh, with the sniper chem style, and then dribbling, in theory, like I always say, uh, goes up to 97 with the sniper chem style, and then composure goes up to 81. So, given his finishing and composure combo, I feel pretty confident if we're using his left foot, uh, putting, uh, putting goal scoring chances away, given that he is a striker. And then we go over and we look at the physical stats, and then the 80 stamina is the one thing which really drives home the point. This has to be the Scottish super sub right i mean 80 stamina frank ribery has 81 we're, we're gonna see how his work rates affect the draining of stamina we're gonna have him on uh, stay forward as a matter of fact so he doesn't track back at all i don't think that should be too much of an issue because he does have high low work rate so we're gonna definitely keep an eye on that but uh speaking of mitrita is this romanian guy who also like Ionas haji uh has himself a five-star weak foot i don't know what it is about uh romanian guys but they all have five-star weak foots so we're gonna try mitrita he also has crazy agility he's got a good bit of a good bit of acceleration sprint speed Definitely more of a winger uh, and has 75 stamina as well. And then, of course, we had to use uh, James Forrest, the man who was left out. I mean, a lot of people expected him to at least get an 86. And alas, it was Ryan Kent who went from an 82 to an 84. So uh, us James Forrest owners are here. And for those of you guys that did James Forrest, perhaps you're doing this uh, Gary Mackey Stevens card and putting together a fun little squad together. So uh, 84, James Forrest. Looks like a pretty nuts card without the upgrade, if I'm being honest with you. 86 would have turned him into a god. He would have probably been something around 99 sprint speed, 99 acceleration. But uh, alas, it was not meant to. To be. Match number one. Oh, the bloody Aberdeen. Okay. I'm 
retrieved. Oh, Referee. Ojo con este pase y ahora se abre camino sin problemas. Come on, get, dude, Smalling, get the hell out of here, dude. The Scotsmen are just warming up. He's taking him out! The Scotsman, come on! Gary! That's gotta be it. That had to be it. Gary Mackey Stevens, GMS, gets us on the board in the 60th minute. It took a long time. It was a while coming. But uh, he finally gets it done. And did we use the Gordon Ramsay sound effect for the goal? I don't know. Never really knew that I had it like that When a young boy hop on the track and he bats Jefferson to run and way back Bringing it way back like when I was the Madsen PK's just been done. I don't care that we didn't just score. We just absolutely... <laughs> Wait, does he even have PK in his squad? Let me be real when I say this. None of this acting. This is life on the A-list. You come up against me and FIFA, that's it. There's only one outcome. Rage quit. Best striker in the game. God. Tima, how are you going to do that to me, dude? Oof. Was that Smaldini? He kind of looks like he doesn't. Is that a player face? Is that like a dynamic? What is that? Who the hell is he? Who does he remind me of? He kind of looks like Gordon Ramsay, you know? Gary Mackey Stevens, go on, you lad. He actually does kind of look like Gordon Ramsay. James Forrest, the Scottish Mad Lads, they rise to the occasion at the very best, at the very best possible moment. Three, two in the 86th minute. They had their haggis at halftime. That's what it was. They had their, they had their Lucas Aid infused haggis. Who the hell is that, bro? bro James Forrest, bro. EA, yo, we gotta get them some star faces, dude. Looks like Zac Efron crossed with um. A guy with Botox. It looks like he's got. It looks like he's had Botox injections into his lips. My thoughts after one game: two goals for Gary Mackay Stevens provides himself an assist. It's very cute what just happened in this match. Uh, what is it? A it's a three goal contribution from Mackay Stevens, and then a three goal contribution from James Forrest. They literally did everything that we asked of them. Didn't look good early on. The first half was very quiet. I think we were down one nil going into half. But uh, Gary Mackay Stevens showcased obviously the fact that he had a five star weak foot. Oh, sorry, a five star skill moves, weak foot. Um. Didn't necessarily pop up, but anytime a guy has a weak foot, you, you have to train your brain to know to position yourself in a certain way. So weak foot, in my opinion, uh, isn't a deal breaker. Obviously still an 84 rated squad, so dirt cheap. Gary Mackey Stevens just ended Chris Smalling here. <laughs> Absolute filth. Good evening, everyone. Let me play on. I was getting by him. It's almost as if he's designed to be a super sub. I mean, obviously, this is probably just in my head, but certain cards I feel like turn on. I feel like I need to be down 1-0 with a team like this. I need to be down 1-0 to really feel the pressure. Maybe maybe that's just a thing in general, but I feel like I need to be down in order for me to take the game seriously. Gonna have, are we going to have to deduct points from that? Was that a better save or was that a really bad miss? Gary, that's got to be in, dude. Down 1-0 one, down one going, going into the second half. It would have been off anyway, but... Scotsman's 
Scottish Messi. Ooh, that's a sexy title for a video. Should we call it that, boys? The Scottish Messi? Have Gordo, have Gordo on there in the thumbnail. That's tough to see. Who was that, 17? Alvaro Morata? This is it. This is the game. What is that? I don't know, Chef! It's not good enough! One more chance. One more chance! Come on, boys! 2-2! Two, two. In the dying minutes of the game, everyone is dead! Did I not play a fitness? What is going on with my cards? We get the ball back, and somehow, by the grace of God, we are able to get that, uh, we're able to get that opportunity back and make good with none other, a Bastian Schweinsteiger equalizer. If we're being real, that couldn't have gotten any more emotional, boys. 8.6 for Gary Mackey Stevens provides, uh, gets one goal, uh, the equalizer, and then also James Forrest gets himself an assist, and then Sergio Ramos gets himself an assist as well. And in true emotionality fashion, uh, we get the last goal of the episode with, um with Bastian Schweinsteiger. So, uh, I'm gonna give my thoughts here. Uh, let's take a quick price check on the uh, on the SBC. It looks like he is currently going for active challenges. 84 rated squad, I believe is like, what, 30, 40K? 33,000 coins and there's a loan. Why is there a loan for Gary Mackey Stevens and there wasn't a loan for Sergio Ramos? I'm trying to understand that. One was like nuts. Or even like Flashback Rooney, he's up to 250, he's still 250,000 coins. Like why wasn't there a loan on Flashback Rooney? We need loan cards. I don't understand like why some cards don't get loans and why others do. I don't know the mentality behind it, but we need loan cards, I feel like, for everyone. Gary Mackey Stevens, his loan card is literally at 1 30th the cost of his entire SPC. That's hilarious. It's 33,000 coins for a fun super sub, and you wanna know what? This is a fun epi. This isn't one I'm taking too seriously. I'm gonna give it a perfect five out of five in terms of value. It's 30,000 coins, it's cheap as chips. Uh, two shadow chem styles. If you can afford two shadow chem styles, you can afford a five uh, five star skiller that links into that links into your James Forrest if you did him. Um, and if there's one thing that I like about the value, it's that it kind of maybe takes a little bit of the burn off the James Forrest roast uh, because he doesn't have many good links um, and it's tougher it's tougher to get him in unless you have like an, uh, a Daglish. This is the uh, the Tesco Daglish, if you will. But uh, five out of five in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I'm not gonna too I'm not gonna fap over it uh, too much. I am gonna give it a 3.75 out of five. Five, uh, Thanos finger snaps. Um, the stamina definitely, definitely felt a little bit uh, felt a little bit tired towards the end of the game. So there's that. Uh, a lot of people are probably only going to be using this as a super sub, so I don't feel like I can rate him that highly just because that's what his uh, primary role is going to be. Uh, and his finishing was uh, his finishing was acceptable. It's very, very good. Um, and then the one thing you're going to notice is obviously the dribbling and then the five star skiller. So the the performance and then value combo for me comes into the fact that he's an off he's like an off league guy. It's not top five, so it's kind of fun to use. A non-meta type player he's got five star skill moves links into james forrest and just card you can have a little bit of fun with on a monday so uh that's my uh those are my thoughts on the uh gary mackey stevens ak where's the lamb sauce where's the finesse episodia hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did uh i'm gonna be streaming over on mixer the rest of my 15 weekend league games if you guys want to check that out that will be me live tonight if you guys did enjoy the epi drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day